Hi there folks, I'm Margaret Meyer, owner of Vintage Fabrics and Etc. out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and I'm down here in Warrenton, Texas, doing a fabulous show on the Rose of Texas field. This is what I'm very well known for. It's old bark cloth. They were drapery and upholstery fabrics out of the late 30s, all through the 40s, and the 50s were the abstracts. There's beautiful patterns, all different colors, all different textures, and they were basically drapery and upholstery fabrics. Now they do shower curtains, they do clothing, tote bags, uh, bed duvets, dust ruffles. If you can dream it, you can do it. This is something very, very interesting. They're old European grain bags. They were signed and dated with the farmer's name, his little village, and wonderful early dates. The people are hanging them on the wall like artworks. They're doing a lot of upholstery and wonderful vintage pillows. And if you put a nice early date in a room, it ages the whole room, which is really wonderful. I also do a lot of homespun linen uh, grain bags, and some of them will have dates. This was actually a back-breaking process. It took about nine months from the planting of the field of flax until they could produce cloth. And since they were not a throwaway society, they would simply wash them out each year, store them, and then bring them out for the next harvest. This was probably a bride's monogram out of her wedding trousseau. Sometimes I'll also get farm monograms too. Here we have some unusual and rare colors of the grain bags. The golds, the greens, the flesh tones, uh, very dark navy that almost looks like it's black. It's a wonderful stack. Just A lot of girls just simply stack in cupboards like quilts and it looks really fabulous. And if you folks were here and could feel the texture, you'd be sold immediately because it's just such a wonderful, homey, warm feeling to see that in homes. Here I have an old quilt from the 1920s. It was never in use, wonderful design, probably like an arts and crafts design. Here's an early mohair uh, wall hanging, probably around the 1890s. Mint condition, soft colors, fabulous texture. Very, very hard to find in good condition. Here we have old towels from German wedding trousseaus, again around the 1930s beautiful designs. They were originally used to be hand towels. Today people are making pillows out of them. They're using them as napkins, table runners. Once again, I say if you can dream it, you can do it. This is something that's fun. They're old American potato sacks and the graphics were really wonderful. So people are framing them. They're putting them on the walls. They're making pillows and again doing a lot of upholstery. And then I have old European trims here, probably from around 1900 to the 1950s, a lot of early metallics, really, really gorgeous. And these, a lot of people are again doing wonderful pillows and they're putting nice trims around them. Two years ago I wrote a book on the wonderful bark cloth that I sell. It's called Vintage Textured Bark Cloth and I broke it down into chapters of florals, tropicals, leaves, abstracts, and conversationals. Many, many fabulous patterns, wonderful colors, and a bountiful selection of wonderful textures, too. I also sell this wonderful old French ticking. Um, colorways, designs were many, varied, and they mix nicely with the homespun linens. They'll mix with the bark cloth. Um, you can put stripes anywhere in a house and it just really makes the whole room pop. And they use them for pillows, upholstery. I've had people make clothing out of them, tote bags, and they're pretty fabulous.